Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. This is breakfast. So the guy, when, I, when we were ordering, the guy was like, oh, it's two strips of bacon per order. And we're like, okay, let's get three because it's going to be six strips, right? No, we have a whole thing of bacon. We have French toast. We have regular toast, cereal, smoothie, and coffee. No agua. And agua. Ready to go to Tulum. It is about 7.50 in the morning and our shuttle's gonna get here at like 8.05. So we're gonna leave pretty soon. We got a mosquito bite. Mosquitoes are real out here, people. Make sure you get your bug pot. <laughs> I only got it here at the hotel because we were, oh, this dude's doing yoga out here. Anyways, um, I got it because we were at an outdoor club yesterday and there's just mosquitoes at night. But there wasn't any at like at Explore or the daytime here, so bring your bug spray if you're gonna hang out at night. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's bigger. <laughs> done with our first half of the activities. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. We went swimming in the cenotes. We went zip lining and rappelling. Repelling. Repelling. Rappelling. Is there a difference? What's well, rappelling? I don't think that's a word. I look up later. <laughs> so now we're going to eat lunch with everybody, then we're going to drive over to, to Tulum, and then that'll be our day. So it's really fun though. This. I'll talk more about it later, but yeah. it was so beautiful and so fun and relaxing. Really good. Chicken's really good. I know. The Same with this block. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were scared of the first sort of rebelling without a harness. Yeah. Like four o'clock, 
So we have plenty of time to do things yeah, before our reservation for dinner. We're tanning. Except it's not really tanning because I'm wearing this. <laughs> it's not a good tanning bikini, but we just ordered food next to the pool, so the dude's gonna come. We got sex on the beach and it was funny because we just we're trying all the tropical drinks and Justin was like, okay, wait, can we have sex on the beach? And the guy was like, oh, what, right now? What? <laughs> it's gonna cost you. Yeah, he's like, it's gonna cost you. He's like, how about, he was like, how about sex in the pool? It's free. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, he's so clever. He probably gets that all the time, that's Maybe, why. Yeah, he has to say that, like every person. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the excursions today? It was a lot of fun. Tulum was great. Water was gorgeous. Yeah, it was so beautiful. And then... Mayan ruins were really cool. Yeah, we swam in the... Not white I am. It's because... You need a white there. Oh, See? okay. <laughs> I know that's how I actually looked. We swam in the cenotes. That was that fun. That was really cool. But I had a, like... I wouldn't call it severe, but I had a, an anxiety attack under there. And it was more of a, combina a combination, because I actually do suffer from random anxiety, and it's not like I'll freak out when I'm in a room full of people. It's literally, I'll be doing nothing, and I'll be uncomfortable, and I can't breathe. So it's like, it just like sneaks up on me. First of all, El Cenote is an underground river. So um, it's in a cave. And you know, and they ask you, are you claustrophobic? And I'm not claustrophobic. So when I was down there, we were exercising and he was talking about an exit, saying, you know, if there's an emergency or something, and there was a hole in the, the top. So this is probably like, what, five minutes in, probably? Yeah, it was only like 25 minutes total. Yeah, five minutes in, I could feel myself not being able to breathe. So then I was like, okay, could be exercising, but I was like, wait, but I could be having an anxiety attack right now because we're in such a small space. So then I stuck with that for a while and I couldn't breathe and I started getting really dizzy and lightheaded. And I was about to ask it and I hate interrupting anything. I hate interrupting people and stopping anything for myself. I just dislike that so much. So I didn't want to like be like, hey, I want to like, can I get out of here real quick? But I was literally, I was considering it. That's how bad it was. I was like going to stop him. Me. I couldn't tell. Yeah, well, no, because I didn't want anyone to know because I was freaking out so bad. I was getting really dizzy. And so I just had to like float for a little bit. So I'm pretty sure it was just obviously the exercising and stuff, but my brain was telling me like, hey, you're freaking out. <laughs> so then I stopped and just floated for a little bit and just caught my breath. And I remember I kept taking off my things. Like, did you not notice me? I kept taking out the snorkel and taking off my glasses for a while, like, because I was trying to figure out well, what- I was doing that too. But no, I was doing it because I was having anxiety. I was trying to oh. like do it because I was trying to figure out if it was like hurting me or something and like, if I could just get better breath with that. Like, I felt like I couldn't get enough breath. It was scary, but overall experience, it was cool. <laughs> and the selfie stick is brought out. So we went. I didn't finish everything that we did today. How do you open this? So after the cenotes, oh, let me pull it out. We went to, um, do a bunch of zip lining. And the zip lining was fun. It was a little less regulated than Explore was, so a little bit, you know, scary, but it was really fun because they would let you like put your hands up and stuff, or you can spin if you wanted to. And then, um, then we went rappelling. I keep saying rappling, but apparently it's rappelling. That was fun. We were very scared to do it, but actually doing it was just like, whatever. The tour itself, wasn't too bad if you want to know details um just let me know but it was it was fun overall and it was a full day we got back by 4 p.m which was nice because then we could just relax here at the hotel so now we're here and we're gonna go eat dinner at a place called i think olio or oilio olio or oilio <laughs> but it's a, an italian restaurant so we're gonna go there and have some din din outfit of the night Got my zippers. It's just a skirt and a tank top.